A light ray passes through the prism and this light ray consists of two monochromatic components basically two rays of different wavelengths. Now we know when the wavelength is different the mu for each of the rays is different. So if that mu is different then the deflection will also be different. So these two rays deflect at different angles and let's say the difference in their deflection is delta alpha. So find that angle delta alpha between the components of rays after it passes through the prism if their respective indices of refraction are this and this. So quite obviously if the mu is more that ray will deflect more. So mu of this violet right light for example is going to be 1.52 and that of the right <coughs> of the red ray will be 1.515. We need to find the angle alpha between the component of rays after it passes through the prism. So after they pass through the prism, angle between them is delta alpha, which we need to calculate. The prism is oriented to provide the least deflection angle. So because the mu difference is not much, we can assume that both the rays are getting deflected to the maximum value. Now, how do we know this angle delta alpha? So if you just extend both the lines and so wherever it cuts the original line so that this is the net deflection of the first ray delta 1 and this is the net reflection of second ray delta 2. Now if you see this triangle this triangle. So if this is delta alpha this is also delta alpha opposite angles and now delta 2 is exterior angle to delta 1 and delta alpha. So we can say delta 2 is equal to delta 1 plus delta alpha or delta alpha is equal to delta 2 minus delta 1. So delta alpha is difference of net deviation of each of the rays. So because the prism is oriented to provide least deflection angle, the delta 1 and delta 2 are delta 1 minimum and delta 2 minimum. So we'll write this as delta 2 minimum minus delta 1 minimum. Now the values of delta minimum is we know that we can get from this formula. So if we rearrange we get delta minimum is equal to this. So if we just put the values and solve that we'll get our answer. So this is a pretty brute method and this will give the accurate result. But here we can see that the difference in mu is not much. So we need this value delta 2m minus delta 1m. So if you see here mu and delta min are related. A is a property of the prism. So it's a constant. Mu is variable and delta minimum is variable. And if you differentiate both sides you will get d mu term and here you will get d delta term. So because d mu is small we can get change in delta minimum by just differentiating and putting the value of d mu as the difference of this. So that's how we'll do by our second method. So since mu is difference is small, we'll just differentiate this. We'll get d mu is equal to this quantity. And from here, we can write d mu, <laughs> not d mu, sorry. So d delta m, we have already seen that d delta m is delta alpha. So we'll put d delta m as delta alpha and on the left side we have so we'll take everything else on the left side that will be 2 d mu sin a by 2 upon cos delta m plus a by 2. Okay I've just written it more clearly so it's easy to follow from this step to this step. So here d delta m which we know is delta alpha is equal to just rearrange this and we get this. So now we don't know what is cos of this we will convert into sine of delta m plus a by 2. So that is root of 1 minus mu square. So what is this uh, sine square delta minimum plus a by 2 that is mu square into sine square a by 2. So that's what we have written root of 1 minus mu square sine square a by 2. So now we just put the values. So we'll put the value of a as 60 degree, 
d mu will be difference of the refractive indices and mu is the first one that is 1.515 so we just solved that and we'll get the same answer 0.44 degree so we got the same answer because mu difference is small if mu difference is large we have to do it with this brute method all right